Hi everybody and welcome back. About a month ago I did a TOS News update about Windows 8 and specifically a new function feature called UEFI. Now some of you had concerns about that feature as did I so let me get straight to the topic at hand. Microsoft's UEFI. It stands for Unified Extensible Firmware Interface. Now computer makers must have this feature with Windows 8 installed computers, meaning that if computer vendors want their computer to have the Windows 8 logo and or have Windows 8 pre-installed, they must have this function. Now basically this is a secure boot to prevent loading malware from booting. Okay, fine. So far so good. Now this can be a desirable feature function with the assumption that the user can authorize the programs or operating system to run. Fair enough, fair enough, but the problem can arise if Microsoft and computer makers, they may choose to prevent any OS from loading except Windows 8. By modifying the traditional BIOS with a secure encryption key, unless the user, such as myself, can bypass it or choose, choose the operating system during the boot process. Now let me say this, I have no problem with a computer any computer being secure, of course, whether you have Linux or Windows 8 installed next year, of course. Who doesn't want their computer or computers to be secure? But I don't want to sacrifice freedom of choice at the sake of having a secure computer. Now, for some of you who, who are only going to use Microsoft Windows 8 and load nothing else, then this is not an issue. For some of you who think that Microsoft Windows sucks, and I can respect that, this also is not an issue f for you. But for me and for a lot of people out there who enjoy dual booting or enjoy having choices, like myself, if Microsoft and computer makers come to some kind of an agreement that locks out the computer so you can install nothing else, then let me just say that I would be major, major uncool. I would have a problem with that. Right now, I just, frankly, I just don't know. This is just an update to a toss news I did last month. Now, if anything else comes along the way, I will let you guys know. But this is how I understand it. If I missed something or got it wrong, please, please let me know. And if by chance Microsoft and computer makers do lock me out, let me just say that I will have a little something to say uh, an editorial on my Total OS Today website next year. I won't do a video about it, I'll just write about it and uh, it'll probably be a little bit on the nasty side but I will reserve judgment to be fair to both Microsoft and computer makers. I will reserve judgment until next year to see what happens. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's it for this toss news concerning Microsoft's UEFI. I'll let you know if something else pops up in the news about this. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will catch you sometime in the future.